So with all that's going on, there is a lot more video chatting and group chats going on. Obviously, I've talked about this a couple of videos ago. Here's some things to think about. And this video is going to aggravate a lot of people, but I'm going to tell you how it is. First of all, iPhone users and iPad users, we get it. You paid $900 when a $200 phone would have done everything you need, but you want to feel cool, so you spent $900. Bucks. That's cool. Your choice. Doesn't make any sense, but good for you. Stop calling all video conversations, all video chats, FaceTime. FaceTime is a specific application that's on iDevices, iPhones, iPads, and it is complete crap for multiple, multiple reasons. But here's the big thing. Whatever video chat program you do decide to use, it should be something that anybody can use. And the thing with FaceTime, like it or hate it, it will only run on Apple devices, meaning you can't communicate with anybody on another system. And although iPhone users, I hear this all the time, everyone owns an iPhone, they think that everybody owns an iPhone. You guys have, last I checked, 13 or 14% of the market share. That's a very small amount of the market share. I know, I know, it hurts to hear. You want to feel cool. Maybe, you, maybe that makes you feel cool. You're in the elite. You're, you're in that 13 or 14%. Good for you. But when you're talking about an application that's used for communication and it only allows you to communicate with 14, 13 to 14% of the market share, it is a crappy communication program. Okay, moving on from there. Throwing FaceTime out because of the reasons I just said. There are a lot of options out there, and you may like one's, one over the other. Here's the important thing. I want to video chat with you. Let's say I want to video chat with you. I am never going to ask you to install something. Maybe we both like a certain application, we we'll do that, but I'm never going to be like, hey, I know you probably already have 200 apps on your phone because you like to install a bunch of stuff. Why don't you install one more so you can video chat with me? Whatever video chat application you choose, they probably have an app, but you should be able to do it right in the web browser. And most good uh, video chat applications have this functionality. Nextcloud, Jitsi, even Google Hangouts. You shouldn't have to install anybody, and you should never ask somebody to install something just to talk to you when it can be done other routes. Um, so that, those are the big things. Make sure you use something that everybody can use. And don't ever ask somebody to install something on their phone so they can chat with you. If, if what you're using, if the service you're using is good, they shouldn't have to install anything. They shouldn't, in many cases, even have to create an account. Again, Jitsi and Nextcloud, I can set up my own servers, but even if I don't, I can go to the Jitsi website, click uh, New Meeting, and it gives me a URL I can give somebody. Now, I said to you, you try to open it on your, your phone, it's going to want you to install the app. Check the little menu button in your browser, check desktop site, and it works fine. It works fine. They want you to install the app, but it works fine. I've done it before. The buttons are kind of small because it thinks you're running on a desktop, but you don't need the app. The only time you need an, an installed app, a program on your device for communicating like this, is if you want it to ring when the person calls. So you will need that. So like if me and you are constantly talking and you want to be able to make my phone ring when you video chat me, then you're going to have to install an application that's going to run in the background and, well, it's running in the background. So you try to avoid that and it will let your phone ring when someone's calling you. But if me and you just need to communicate in a meeting or something like that, I can call you or text you and be like, hey, you ready to video chat? Yeah, here's a link. I'll text it to you. Then you click on it and we do it. You don't have to install anything. You can if you want. It's your device. If you want to fill it up with a bunch of spyware, malware, um, whatever you want, it's your device. But don't ever ask me to install something. So again, let's review. Don't refer to every video program as FaceTime, because you sound like an idiot. <laughs> and, and don't ask me to install something to video chat with you. Again, uh, we can go over Zoom. And I'm not suggesting any of these. I don't really like Zoom. But Zoom, Google Hangouts, Nextcloud, Jitsi, all these have in-browser interfaces. Um, and I don't need to create an account. Well, Hangouts I might need to. But uh, Jitsi, Nextcloud, Zoom, those are ones I can say. You just give me a link and we can video chat. That's it. And of course, 
with, uh, with Jitsi and Nextcloud, it's super simple to set up your own server. So if you're really concerned about security, you can throw up a server. <laughs> when I say throw, bleh, throw up a server. No, you can set up a server literally in minutes. Uh, and you can also remove the server. You can do it remotely. You can set up one in your house. You can set up one and then like set it to just disappear after you restart the machine. Super, super simple stuff. I get most people need to, don't need to set up servers. But again, Nextcloud, Jitsi, open source. You can set up servers. You don't have to. You can use services that are out there. Um, Zoom, uh, I, again, I've used it a little bit. I'm not a big fan. Um, I, I don't, I, I've been in chats with people, but I think they paid for the service. Don't, don't ever, don't, don't pay for a service like that. That's ridiculous. Set up your own server. It, you know, you can set up your own server for two fifty a month and you can turn it off whenever you want. Um, yeah. So stop thinking you're all cool and thinking your application is better than everybody else's. If you want to chat with me, just make it sure it's something I can do. I can do simple and I don't need to install anything. That's it. Have a great day. Comment below. Let me know what you think.